Sidley Austin LLP, formerly known as Sidley Austin Brown & Wood LLP, is the sixth largest U.S.-based corporate law firm with 1,900 lawyers, annual revenues of more than $1 billion, and offices in 19 cities worldwide, with the most recent edition of Century City, in Los Angeles, in 2015. It is a full-service law firm, with broad experience in transaction and litigation matters. Its original predecessor firm was founded in 1866 and had former First Lady Mary Todd Lincoln, then the widow of President Abraham Lincoln, among its earliest clients. The firm was formed as the result of the merger of two firms, the Chicago-based Sidley and Austin, founded in 1866, and the New York-based Brown and Wood, founded in 1914. The merger was completed in May 2001. The firm's headquarters is at 1 South Dearborn in Chicago's Loop. In each year since the survey's inception, Sidley has received more first-tier national rankings than any other U.S. law firm in the Best Law Firm survey by U.S. News & World Report. The 2015 U.S. News survey also named Sidley as the law firm of the year in international trade and finance law as well as litigation in Euro securities. As of 2014, it was the 13th largest law firm in the world by revenue. History Equals Origins in Chicago Equals The firm that was to become Sidley Austin was formed in Chicago in 1866 by Norman Williams and John Leverett Thompson as the partnership of Williams and Thompson. One of the nation firm's first clients was the Pullman Company, the manufacturer of specialty sleeping railway cars. Other early clients included Western Union Telegraph Company, which moved its Midwest headquarters from Cleveland to Chicago in 1869. After the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, the firm represented numerous insurance companies including Equitable Life Assurance Society. In 1892, William Pratt Sidley joined the firm after having earned an LLB from Union College of Law and a M.A. from Harvard Law School. By 1913, the firm's name was changed to Holt, Cutting and Sidley, although Sidley would be the guiding personality for the Chicago firm through the 20th century. Three years later a Euro the firm then 50 years old a Euro had four partners, four clerks, and ten staff employees with gross income of around $100,000. Buffeted by the Great Depression, the firm experienced a dramatic fall in revenues until the New Deal in the 1930s reinvigorated the capital markets. The firm represented Halsey, Stewart & Company, a Chicago-based underwriter in one of the first transactions under the Securities Act of 1933. In 1944, the name was changed to Sidley, Austin, Burgess and Harper and shortened to Sidley and Austin in 1967. Equals towards a national firm equals after the Second World War, Sidley and Austin began expanding beyond its Chicago roots as many of its clients entered new markets. In 1963, its Washington, D.C. branch was established which would soon become an important player in that city's legal market through its representation of the American Medical Association, American Bar Association and the International Minerals and Chemical Corporation. The firm developed strengths in antitrust and the representation of clients in front of the Federal Trade Commission. Sidley and Austin was among several law firms caught up in the savings and loan crisis and paid $7.5 million to settle legal malpractice claims stemming from its representation of the Lincoln Savings and Loan Association. Such legal work was profiled in the book by Ralph Nader and Wesley J. Smith, No Contest, Corporate Lawyers and the Perversion of Justice in America. Equals Expansion and Consolidation equals Sidley and Austin expanded tremendously in the 1970s and 1980s. In 1972, the firm merged with the 50 lawyers of Chicago firm Leibman, Williams, Bennett, Baird and Manu. Offices were established in London, Los Angeles, Singapore and New York in short order. In 2001, the firm merged with Brown & Wood, a New York-based law firm established in 1914 with 400 attorneys additional domestic offices in Washington, D.C., San Francisco and Los Angeles and overseas branches in London, Beijing and Hong Kong. Brown & Wood was known for its securities, structured finance and securitization practices. The firm's well-regarded publication, accessing the U.S. capital markets, 
an introduction to United States securities law, continues to be updated annually today. Brown and Wood had offices in the World Trade Center. The firm was known as Sidley Austin Brown and Wood until the name was rebranded as Sidley Austin in 2006. Equals Appellate Practice Group equals, in 1985. U.S. Solicitor General Rex E. Lee founded Sidley Austin's Appellate Practice Group to represent clients in all appellate courts, including the United States Supreme Court, the Federal Courts of Appeals, and State Appellate and Supreme Courts. Following Lee's death, the group was led by Carter Phillips, who has argued more cases before the Supreme Court than any lawyer in private practice and who now chairs the firm's executive committee. The current co-chairs of the practice group are former Acting Attorney General Peter Kiesler and former Principal Deputy Associate Attorney General Joseph Guerra. The appellate group has argued several landmark cases before the Supreme Court including U.S. term limits, Inc. v. Thornton, Missouri v. Jenkins, and United States v. Lopez. Directly or indirectly, Sidley Austin plays a role in 40% of the cases the Supreme Court hears every term. Over the last 30 years, its lawyers have argued 115 high court cases. On March 19, 2015 the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit ruled that a client of Sidley Austin, AT&T Inc., filed its appeal too late in a patent infringement case, which cost AT&T its right to appeal a $40 million adverse judgment. The Federal Circuit held that a team of lawyers from the firm failed to file a notice of appeal within the requisite 30 days after a federal district court denied several post-trial motions. The court affirmed the district court's ruling that it was troublesome that none of the 18 lawyers and assistants who received the electronic notices bothered to read the orders issued by the court. Rankings and Recognition The firm frequently appears at the top of various industry rankings. In 2015, the BTI Consulting Group named Sidley to its BTI client service A team a Euro one of only two law firms to rank in BTI's client service top 10 for 14 consecutive years. The firm also showed up in 14 categories on the American Lawyers Corporate Scorecard, landing in the number one spot for its roles as issuers counsel in equities offered by U.S. corporations, issuers and underwriters counsel for investment grade debt and Underwriters Council for REIT Debt. Other honors include the 2005 Catalyst Award, conferred in recognition of the firm's impressive initiatives to retain and promote women attorneys, and its second consecutive year as number one in the rankings by Thompson Financial for Top Issuer Council and Manager Council for U.S. Debt and Equity-Related Activity. The firm is particularly known for its securities practice and its international trade practice, both of which have consistently ranked first in the respective speciality rankings of chambers and partners. The trade group currently represents the Airbus European Communities side in the ongoing WTO dispute with Boeing US. The group was named the 2006 Global WTO Law Firm of the Year and ranks first, before Wilmer Hale and Steptoe and Johnson, in the European Legal 500 ranking. Its appellate and U.S. Supreme Court practice is also particularly well known and has been featured in USA Today, Business Week, The American Lawyer, The Legal Times, and The National Law Journal. In 2008 Sidley Austin was awarded Deal of the Year, Debt Market Deal of the Year at the 2008 ALB Hong Kong Law Awards. In 2015 Sidley Austin was named Finance Team of the Year at the Lawyer Awards in London. Sidley Austin during the September 11 attacks, the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 personally affected the employees of Sidley Austin. Prior to the merger creating Sidley Austin Brown and Wood, which took place just four months before the September 11, 2001 terror attacks, the head office of Brown and Wood was in the World Trade Center, while Sidley and Austin was located in offices on 3rd Avenue. Out of 600 employees who worked in the World Trade Center at the time of the attacks, one perished, a switchboard operator, Rosemary Smith. Sidley Austin reopened its New York office on Monday, September 17, 2001 in the old Sidley and Austin office on 3rd Avenue which it had planned on closing on September 16. Instead, it leased four additional floors in that location, in a deal completed less than three hours after the collapse of the World Trade Center. 
Sidley Austin later opened its permanent new office in the Equitable Center building on 7th Avenue in July 2002. Name changes, in the 1920s, the firm was named Cutting, Moore and Sidley. Following a number of changes, it was known as Sidley and Austin for many years until it merged with a New York capital markets firm Brown and Wood in the 1990s. Its name was changed to Sidley Austin LLP on January 1, 2006. Notable alumni, Clementa Carmen, a partner in New York, is now a chief executive of the Carmen Capital Partners, David A. Canals, judge of the 73rd Judicial District Court in Bigsaw County, Texas, began his legal career at Sidley Austin. James L. Connaughton Chairman of the Council on Environmental Quality under President George W. Bush was a partner in Sidley Austin's Environmental Practice Group, covering a wide range of environmental policy issues. Christopher DeMuth, former president of the American Enterprise Institute, worked at the firm in the 1970s. Bernadine Dohrn, the former weatherman leader. Alan Gura, litigator, represented Dick Heller in the United States Supreme Court in District of Columbia v. Heller. Faith Jenkins, legal commentator for Fox News Channel a Euro unregistered trademark s Fox and Friends, the O Euro unregistered trademark Riley Factor, Hannity, Studio B with Shepard Smith, Happening Now, Fox Business Channel a Euro unregistered trademark s Lou Dobbs Forum, Your World with Neil Cavuto, Willis Report. HLNA Euro Unregistered Trademark S Special Report with Vinnie Politan, Tia UTVA Euro Unregistered Trademark S In Session, among others, Mike Lee, son of Rex E. Lee and current U.S. Senator from Utah. Rex E. Lee, former Solicitor General of the United States. Chris Liu, Cabinet Secretary and Assistant to the President of the United States, Newton Manu, the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission under former U.S. President John F. Kennedy, was a partner in the Chicago office and continues to serve as senior counsel to the firm. President Barack Obama was a summer associate in the Chicago office, but never joined the firm as a full-time associate. He met his future wife, Michelle Obama during his time at the firm. David Otunga graduate of Harvard Law School and presently a professional wrestler working with World Wrestling Entertainment. Daniel M. Price was appointed Deputy National Security Advisor for International Economic Affairs by former U.S. President George W. Bush. In this role, Price served as the principal advisor to the President on international economic issues and was responsible for coordinating U.S. administration policy on international trade and investment, foreign assistance to developing countries and the international aspects of energy security and climate change. In 2009, he returned as a senior partner for global issues to the firm's Washington, D.C. office. David S. Tatel, a judge on the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, began his legal career at Sidley Austin. John D. Zeglis, the former chief executive officer of AT&T Wireless, was an associate and partner in the Chicago office where he spent a significant amount of time helping AT&T navigate through the Federal Communications Commission's orders to break up the company, before leaving to join AT&T as a corporate vice president. References External links Official website, Sidley Austin Companies Grouped at Open Corporates, see this firm's profile on martindale.com.